what is going on everybody hopefully we can see this okay I am trying to film with the other side of my cell phone and I want to talk to you about contrast paints so let me just move these little guys I got a couple of these at midnight at the local store so this is a test with contrast Magos purple mixed with the technical contrast medium so what I have here is Zenithal primed miniatures for a board game. So you can see it's pretty dark, close to black underneath, all the way from gray up to white. And what I did was uh, try the contrast paints out on them. And let's see if we can get him to focus. So there he is. Um, this is with one thin coat of contrast paint and it's not f focusing. Okay, so that's pretty good. So this is with one thin coat of contrast paint with a white to black Zenithal Prime. Um, I think it's an okay effect. I don't think it's very good or very useful unless you were going to apply some more colors, maybe layer on some colors. And this is over, of course, uh, the white primer, but the thing is I thin this out a lot. I wanted to see what happens in a thin coat. So there's the one thin coat over a white Steinal Res primer, which I highly recommend. This guy is two thin coats of the Magos Purple over the Steinal Res White. I think this one came out the absolute best. Uh, it's starting to get good uh, lights, but also good dark shadows in there. Like on his face, you can see a lot of the detail really nice, but the highlights are not too white, except maybe a little bit right there on the forearm. But that's okay. Here's the back of the head. A uh, little bit of pooling on the top there, but nothing too big of a deal. Also, when you apply two coats, it starts to tint the black a little more. So this, spoiler alert, so far my favorite is two thin coats of the one thick paint. And that's kind of funny. Then this guy here is trying it out with one thin coat for the base and then one thick coat over top of that. And I think this has some use too. I don't think it keeps the lights as good, but it actually takes the dark shadows and tints them better so it's kind of interesting that it is capable of doing that but we'll just line them up for you hopefully you can see this is just me playing with them for about two hours since I bought them um, and we're trying to get some stuff ready to play with at the store tomorrow so judge for yourself with these little board game miniatures one thin coat, two thin coats, or one thin and one thick. And of course, my lighting is perfectly terrible, but hopefully we can see uh, these effects. Now, I also have Gilliman Flesh, which I have tried on this Reaper Bones uh, giant. And he is Zenithal Primed. You can see he's pretty much black underneath. And he is basically white from above. Uh, this model appears to be too big for our little cell phone close-up view. But this is with two coats on his arms and knees. Two coats of Gilliman flesh. And he fell over. <laughs> uh, I feel like the two coats is working pretty good. Let's see if we can pick him up here. Uh, I pick up the camera. So that's the effect you're going to get on the arms with two coats of Gilliman flesh. And you can see two coats actually tints the black pretty good in the shadow. One coat did not affect it good enough. So I applied the second coat and I'm much happier with that. Do I think this replaces all work on doing a nice skin tone? No, I do not. Uh, also, by the way, this model from Reaper Bones is really cool. I'm going to paint them and sell them on eBay. 
hopefully. Uh, but there you can see there is some pooling, but also it's just from some rough cuts of me cleaning Reaper Bones mold lines, and the contrast paint is finding that. Uh, so it's pretty interesting. Two coats, Gill and Flesh, actually achieves a pretty good flesh tone there. And with that, we have some little halflings we're working on. And I think they're too white to really... Yeah, I think my lights are so bright that the white isn't really... Uh, it's too reflective for them on camera. But if you can see there underneath, I have actually sprayed them with this. 